We have a ton of new Eminem leaks, everything from the album cover to the feature list to the release month. Not the exact day, but the release month. We're gonna be going through all of them today. I recorded my last one three days ago, and I already have a full list. I know I said that in the last video, but they're just coming up so fast. People keep sending them in. So if you guys have any more theories or Easter eggs that you found, be sure to send them in. And if you're not caught up with all the new Eminem leaks and details, you can make sure to check out my channel. I have a bunch of updates on them. But without any more talking, let's get into the first piece of information, which is Eminem being back on TikTok. There was a period of time where all of UMG got taken off. That's Kendrick Lamar, Nicki Minaj, Drake, The Weeknd, SZA, Eminem. A bunch of the biggest artists, right? And we know how big TikTok is for blowing up artists. You see people with no names getting millions of views, so it's huge. Just to prove the importance, I pulled up this article of Mockingbird. Mockingbird has always been a fan favorite, but it wasn't until Gen Z found it on TikTok and they just blew it up. It was remixed, it was slowed down, sped up, and now it has over a billion streams on Spotify. This kind of just goes to show the importance of TikTok and these music apps just because it gets the younger generation into them. And with Eminem's new album, if it can blow up on TikTok early, it could have a ton of streams. It could get a bunch of new fans from the younger generation. So it's really good to see him back on TikTok. Second thing isn't a leak, but it's just something I noticed. Everything after Revival had murder about it. Let me explain. So kamikaze, you know, kamikaze eating it's kind of like death, murder. You got music to be murdered by, and now the death of Slim Shady. So it's all about death, murder, like that dark theme, I guess you could say. And I think this kind of proves that the death of Slim Shady isn't just going to be like one or two tracks about Slim Shady dying. I think it's really going to be like the whole theme to it. It's not going to be one track. It's going to be a whole story, just like we said in the last video. That's something I'm excited for. Those of you who follow Joyner Lucas, he's worked with Eminem in the past on Kamikaze. You see, he posted a song right here. I'm not going to play it because of copyright reasons, but he put in the caption, I want at Eminem on the remix of this. Now that's something a lot of artists do, but the fact that Joyner's actually worked with him before and he's about to go on tour could really be hinting at new work with him. Yeah, you can see right here, all the days he's on tour, I'll zoom in. It's really low quality for some reason. I think it's just because I'm on desktop. But maybe Eminem works with him. Maybe they use it as promo for the album. They could team up together again. Who knows? Just something I thought I'd point out. We're about to get into some of the biggest leaks that I've seen, but no YouTubers have covered them. So people have just been sending these to me, but they look real. They're not confirmed, but they look real. I'll put one up. We see right here, Lone Star posted on his close friends. So it's not like everyone can see it. Shady Family Forever. Me and my boy S1 killed it on this next one. From the left, we see Marshall Mathers LP, the house that he's pointing to in multiple album covers. We see Eminem laying down the same way that he was, or I guess it's Slim Shady, the exact same way that he was in the trailer. Then moving over, we have a missing poster right here. It says Detroit News, the death of Slim Shady. Shows the old house that we just saw over there. We see Eminem right here. And these really look legit. The attention to detail for such a small, like zoomed in poster on just some random post in the close friends would be a lot of work to really do. Obviously, like it could be Photoshop, but the fact that it's on close friends, like he's trying to hide it, is very interesting to me. Then lastly, up here, we have Eminem being caught, middle finger up, holding up his name, Detroit Police. But man, this really looks real. And there's more to it. Right here, we have more. Team went crazy with the visuals it's only a matter of time that's how i interpret that emoji shady summer let me zoom in right here we got that same picture of eminem right here it, it's a completely different angle so it's not like he just photoshopped that one side if this were to be fake he would have photoshopped multiple angles which is a lot of work especially a lot of work for you to just blur it out like i wouldn't think someone would put that much work in and just blur it out and then put it on their close friends i think there's a really good chance this is real zooming in on the house i didn't even notice when i wrote the stuff down for the script there's like a silhouette of eminem in front of the house right here this is the same house i mean you've seen it on multiple album covers marsh mathers lp marsh mathers lp2 even the expanded edition they all have it in the cover definitely pretty crazy but there's still more to it now, now, Genius is one of the biggest music websites, breaks down all the lyrics and the meaning behind songs, and right here it has the Death of Slim Shady coup de gras on it, and it says July 2024, right under the release date, so it's almost like he uploaded it to that, or someone uploaded it to that that's close to him, and they knew it was coming in July, they didn't give the exact date, but now we can really narrow it down to being in July, and we know artists usually drop on Thursday nights, that's when they get the most streams for the rest of the week, so keep an eye out, it's coming mid-summer, I was expecting early summer, but July, I mean, that's midsummer. You still have the rest of the album to stream it. I would expect early July. Another thing Lone Star posted was this three second snippet. It's obviously not the whole song, but I'll play it right here. So all we hear is the drums, but you see M plus easy, like easy mill equals fire. So obviously could be teasing a potential feature, but we don't really know. This is more zoomed in on that clipboard I was talking about. You see these sticky notes right here. Zooming in on them, it's really hard to see what the names are. Right here, you can kind of see 50 Cent, Snoop Dogg. I think that's J. Cole, maybe. I definitely see Dr. Dre right here. So it's very cool to see at least these suspects. We don't know if this means features or not. I would assume it means features. I mean, putting a bunch of artists up on this teaser. Oh, as I'm talking, I think I see Royce to 5'9 right here. So very cool. Could be some of the features, could not be. If you can make out any of those other names, let me know down below. So yeah, definitely very cool. 
But the last thing I want to show you is Meet the Grams. Kendrick Lamar just dropped this diss track back on Drake through in a whole feud right now. If you want to see a video on me covering the feud, let me know. But it was just dropped. And if you go to the interpolations, which is basically like what inspired the writing, I guess you could say, Stand by Eminem. I don't know exactly why Stand by Eminem's on there. I don't know if that has any importance at all. I just figured I'd point it out. But yeah, there's plenty of songs on here. Stan, The Story of Added On by Pusha T, Taylor Made, N95, and Element. But also, shout out to this fan for making this cover art. This is not official or confirmed at all. He just made this for fun. It looks very cool. Judging by Office, I think he wants Slim Shady to come back and like fight Eminem or something because he's coming out of the grave. But either way, that's all we know about the album at the moment. If you want to stay up to date on all the information, make sure to subscribe. I'm making videos all the time about all the new leaks and information that we can get. I haven't seen any other YouTuber covering these things, these leaks, these snippets. I appreciate all the support lately. We've been getting a lot of subscribers, a lot of views, all that. So thank you for all that. If you want to see more Eminem videos up here, I got a playlist. We got tier list rankings, brackets. We got a lot. So check that out if you want. Thanks for watching. Peace out.